um, we're down in Canberra at the moment. We're, uh, we're, doing, we're doing a block of four, four townhouses. It's a block of four and four. Uh, we, yesterday we, we sarked it all up. We put, we put the snake skin behind the sarking, get it up under there for the waterproofing. And on this one we're using like a 45, I think it's a 45, a 45 mil top hat on reverse, screwed to the, to the studs. What we do is we get the 45, that way it gets the panel out past the window, just enough to give it a bit of meat on the sides. Um, the packs, these, pack, these panels are 50 mil, they're 50 mil panels, they come in packs of 20. They're from Joe at uh, 1AC over at um, Denham Court. He, he sends them out all packed up. We're going, we're going plank, all plain down yesterday down here. And now we've kind of marked out all the, all the cuts ready to be done. Jeremy's going to start cutting them and we're going to throw them on. So it's 50 mil thick. What I try and do is, that's the cut end. I try and keep the cut ends on the sides and the, and the machine is to the windows. It just keeps it a bit neater. What you do is, you try and keep it a couple of mil away from the window and level. The window is usually level. But you keep it about two or three mil away from the window. That allows the renderers when they're rendering just to render up to the to the uh, window sill. Get it in place, and just you screw those you screw those through the panel, just into the top hat, and to the stud behind it. And that's locked in place. What I'm going to do is here. I'm going to get this side wall on first before I screw this one up just to make sure it's perfectly level on the side. So I'll put these ones on now, then I'll put this one on properly. When the panel's going halfway and they're short and we need to butt do it the panels, what we do is usually we just throw a bit of timber down the back of the panel, that way you put a screw through the, through the center of the panels and you get a nice solid fixing. Well, the panels are 600, usually I like to come in about 700, just so they come and sit about 100 mil higher than the, uh, than the last panel. So what we usually do is we, we cut up about 30 or so to start with, see how we go, and we need more, we cut more. Mm. 
Another thing we do too sometimes is we'll blow the two off the camera. Two off the camera. This kid's a bit cleaner when you're picking up, doesn't all wet on your face. Hey, two, ten. Hey, Matt, can you do me a favour, Matt? Yeah. Can you grab me the other battery saw out of the uh, car, yep. put a new blade on it the right way, okay. and then bring that on the timber up? Jeremy's kind of perfect as usual. This is a bit of a funny angle, this one's a bit of a splay. Once again, we just keep it there a couple of minutes off the door. Blue. Place. I can probably unscrew this one, see? Just bring it, over, bring it over a little bit at the top, just to even that gap out a little bit. Wasn't much, but just allows it to even up that gap a little bit in the middle, makes it more sense. Screwed off and all out, we set the sides, probably through the middle. We'll leave that and we'll put that as an expansion just to separate the two. That's probably a weak point in the uh, thing, and you wouldn't want that cracking with the render. So we'll set it up nice and flat and just talk out with a bit of super flex. When the render is render it, they kind of render over it and they put like a, a thin uh, grinding blade line down the, down the center of it. It looks like a very neat straight line, and it's just if there is any movement, the crack goes in the line rather than seeing a big crack down the front of the pan. See that one? Straight through. Miss the timber. So you just take it out. That got it. See that one there? That missed again. You can feel it straight away. Too low to the bottoms. If you go too low, sometimes it cracks the corners. So I always come up with a couple under the middle. 
Probably the frozen area. This wall, this wall itself is 2.29. The panel's only 2.2, so there's got to be a butt joint. With butt joints, you can't have it where the, the piece you're putting in is only sitting on one. The piece you're putting in usually is better to be over 600, but it has to be sitting fixed on for two. So what we do is we'll probably stop the panel here, put a timber behind it, and then you put the piece in so it's got two solid fixings. Wherever, um, wherever the panels meet the panels on the end, you always put a bit of mud on the inside. It locks the panels together. It locks the... So when we push the panel in there, it locks the panels together. With the screw, it keeps it very solid. Alright, let's put this on. Uh, concrete steps up. Down here. So yeah, we're going to be able to step up in the concrete. Yeah, dip up now. Pause it. <laughs> That's the bud joint, that's what we do in the bud joint. Because the panel wasn't long enough to go the whole way, so we cut it where we can get two fixings on the next panel, and we throw a bit of timber down the back. Timber's always better, it's just, it bites better. Rather than use a bit of metal or something, timber always bites better, we go straight down, I always like to hang it over the next one, so I put a screw in each corner. That way it pulls the middles in, and you don't have a, a, any overlapping the other ones. So we put the next panel on, we put another two screws there, and like I said, when this panel goes on, we put one right, right there, and it sucks all together. Now I've got this one on. Now I can adjust this one to where I need it. On the corners here, these are our corners out there, you get them nice and flush, we'll put some glue down there, then you just grab the screws, and you kind of put them in on the angle, don't put them too straight, otherwise you bust it in the front off. You kind of go a bit slower, so you can feel a bite, that's it. It's always good to get it up or down a bit, on a bit of an angle, so you can bite them a bit better. See, see that? That's, that's hitting the steel on the other side, so you kind of come out a bit. When it hits the it won't go through, so you just need to readjust it. Go on a different angle. That was good. Perfect. That, that locks in together. I set that up, it won't touch now.
Patch on goes in, while I set the timbers behind it, set the panels level. If the timber doesn't hang over enough, sometimes what you do is you just put it through the middle of it. The thread bites onto that as well, and the head of the head of the screw holds the panel in place. Sometimes you go too much on the angle, it'll just bust the corner of the panel. But sometimes you put it through the middle, pulling like that. Yeah, This is where the panel's gone on top of the other one now. Like I said, the timbers up sits up a bit higher. This is where I like to put the screw. See how I pulled it right in place there? If this, if this screw goes in a bit further, don't, don't worry about it because you need to pull the panel right in. Other than that, the panel's just sitting on the glue. We, we just glued it up to the top of the panel. Panel sits on, squishes the glue, gives a good bite. Then we just go through. This one needs to be level now because if you get, you get the bottom one level, then they all sit level after that. So like I was saying, yeah, we glue up the uh, top of the panel, we sit the other ones on, bottom panel's always level, so these ones should be level now. Every three or four panel high, just throw your level on it just to check, but they should be pretty good. Now, that's it, pretty much the same thing. You stagger your butt joints, we've got the butt, butt joint this side, and now we've got the other one that side. This side, that side, you always get the butt joints away from each other, just a bit stronger, that's all. And that's all she wrote. We'll show you at the end when she's finished. Yeah, if it's well, we'll run it.